Hello and welcome to this special SUP water video where we're going to be getting you fit over the winter so you can come back on the water stronger than before. Now we've called in Carol Main or Kaz as she likes to be known and she's going to be showing us 11 different exercises that can be done on either easy, medium or at an advanced level to make sure you are fit ready for your next paddle session. We will be introducing Kaz and then she will be taking over to explain those 11 exercises. Now the 11 exercises remain the same over the different levels of ability for the videos. However, they do change slightly depending on if you want to make it a little bit harder or a little bit easier depending on your ability. You will be able to find these workout videos at the end of this video and also in the description below. Kaz is a stand-up paddler herself alongside being a sup coach too. She's been a Pilates instructor for many years and before combining her passions to teach Pilates on a sup, Kaz has been a swimming teacher, gymnast and coach and a police officer as well. And a fun fact about Kaz, she recently won the silver medal at the 2022 Coracle World Championships. Her company, mainly Pilates, helps paddlers and everyday people become more flexible, become stronger, have more endurance and better balance. Let's hand it over to Kaz now, who's going to show us those 11 exercises, but also tell us a little bit about why being more fit is important for paddling. Hey, I'm Kaz. I'm a set coach and a Pilates instructor. I found a brilliant way of combining both my passions by teaching Pilates on a paddleboard. And it's amazing being out in the fresh air, on the water. There is nothing better for your mental health, I promise. And the clever scientists have proven that all exercise sends happy hormones around your brain and makes you better. The tricky bit is getting started. And then why? Why do I want to I do exercise? I only want a paddleboard. Well, you wouldn't believe if you read the uh, Facebook groups, etc. How many people say they went paddleboarding for the first time and they hurt for two days or they couldn't walk upstairs because their thighs were killing them. And their wrists, they, a lot of people complain about their wrists because paddleboarding is, is a tough workout. So if you use these, do these exercises in between your paddleboards, then when you go paddleboarding, they won't hurt. So what I've done is I've devised three separate workouts. The first one is for very easy for people who um, aren't perhaps used to exercise and then the next one is intermediate people are a bit more used to exercise or who find the first one a bit easy and then the third one is advanced so it's called hit high intensity interval training and the reason it's so good is because you see that little countdown it's psychological you see that countdown you think oh i've only got 20 more seconds i can do it i can do it so it does help you but also it means you can work as hard as you like and then you get a little rest and in that little rest it brings your heart rate back down a little bit and then you send it back up and it's the quickest way to get fit. So all these exercises are specifically for the muscle groups we use when paddling. One important thing to remember is I am a stickler for good form in my classes but I'm not there with you so I can't see what you're up to. Uh, you only have the one body and you must look after it. Don't break it. These exercises shouldn't hurt. Yes, your muscles might ache, um, but no pain. If anything hurts, stop immediately. Okay, so uh, I'm going to get on to explaining the exercises first. There's 11 of them, and you need your paddle, or a weight, dumber, or a tin of beans if you haven't got any weight, or a bottle of water, anything you like. You might not need any weights, <clears throat> but have them ready just in case. First exercise is called soap on a rope. Hold your paddle out in front of you. I'm doing it kneeling because otherwise you lose my head. So I'm doing it kneeling for you. Arms out at shoulder height. And simply twist the paddle away from you. Away, away, away. And then back, 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 back. Really work hard. So 20 seconds of that. Next move is called lunge chop. So I'm actually going to use tin of beans. You don't need any weights at all. I'll come back a little bit so you can... Um, See me? A lunge is one foot in front of the other, but not so they are still hip distance apart. This is really good for your balance, this one. And to lunge, you lower the back knee. But to lunge chop, you start with your weight above your head and you can chop and then go. Chop. Same on the other side, so you're taking the weight over the front knee. Okay? <clears throat> Next one is bent over row. 
to rowing action, grab your paddle, underhand grip, okay, hands are shoulder width apart, now this is important, your bum, imagine your bum are headlights, if I have a rounded back, my headlights are pointing down to the floor like a dipped beam, but if I go for a neutral spine, then I'm on main beam, okay, so underhand grip, and pull, really pull all the way as far as you can, and down, all the way, so that's a bent over row. Next one is deadlift. So again, you can use your paddle. Starting upright, slide the paddle down your knees, keeping that main beam, and all the way back up. Press your knees all the way back up. Okay. Next, Russian twist. This is one of my favorites. You will often see me doing this on my board. All of these actually, but so, sit of beans for a weight. You can leave your feet on the floor and take the weight over. You can use your paddle. Take it over, down the side of your rail, and over. Or you can use a heavier weight, whatever you choose. Next, four point kneeling. Back to the tin of beans. <clears throat> so, it's one arm, opposite leg. Out into what's called Superman. And back in. From the front, Notice no jaunty angles, we are in a nice straight line. And when you come in, really, really crunch. Don't just hang around, really make it work for you. Same on the other side. Next one is called side plank. Now, everything needs to be in a straight line. So my foot, my other foot, my elbow, my bum on the back of the mat. Weight ready. You can just lift the hips and stay here for the timing, or you can Grab a weight, take it under, take it up, under, up. Next one is the same on the other side. And the final one is plank, which imagine you're doing press up. Belly button to spine. No saggy back, it's bad for your back. And frankly, this is cheating. So nice flat back. Then pull your belly button to spine. Take yourself up and back and squeeze the heels towards the mat. Now, if you want to make that a little bit harder, release one hand, touch the outside of the leg. This is really good for stretching the hamstrings, because if you've ever tried sitting on your board, or in a kayak for that matter, with your legs out straight, a lot of people can't do it because the hamstrings are too tight. So what happens then is you tip the pelvis back, and then that's how you get bad backs, and it really hurts, and these all hurt as well. So there's your 11 exercises. You can choose what level you do. You can start easy and make it harder. Now it's your turn to start exercising. You'll be able to find those workout links above me here, or if you just scroll down a little bit, you'll be able to see those links in the description below. I've been doing these workouts for the past couple of weeks and I'm already noticing a big difference in my endurance and also my strength. So Kaz, thank you very much for sharing your insights. If you really like this video, please do drop a comment below. If you've got any questions as well, drop them in the comments below. We'll get myself or the supporter team or even Kaz to answer those questions. Thank you so much for tuning in and we look forward to seeing you on another supporter video really soon.